Hey guys, it's Jessie from The Mixed Morning Show. Happy Friday. Hope you're getting ready for a great Memorial Day weekend. And if you want to start your weekend off right, we've got some yoga. And uh, if you've never done yoga before and you just want to try something new or you've been doing yoga for a while, this class is for you. There's, uh, there's modifications, so anything that is a little too challenging or just doesn't feel right today, feel free to take a break anytime you need to. And you can always email me with any questions or concerns, and you can find my email on the website. Or you can just email mixmornings at wjbr.com. So I'd love to hear from you. And uh, we will get started in uh, child's pose today. So bring the knees apart, untuck the toes, sink your bum onto your heels, and just walk the hands out long in front of you, pressing the palms into your mat, stretching out the shoulders. And just start to come into the present moment. Close the eyes. And start to deepen the breath. Letting go of anything that needs to get done. Letting go of any tension, especially in the upper body here. Letting go of what everyone else is up to, maybe any anxiety that you have. Coming into the present moment, allowing yourself to take this yoga practice for yourself and make it about you. See if you can walk the hands out just a little bit further, getting a nice stretch in the shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Walking the hands out towards the right, shifting the hips over to the left, pressing the left palm into your mat or the floor. Opening up the left side of the body. Breathing in. And then from here, walking it back to center. Take another inhale. Exhale as you walk it out to the left. Hips are shifting over to the right, pressing the right palm into your mat. Stretching out the right side of the body. Taking a breath in. Exhale as you're making your way back to center here. Take another breath in. Exhale, round the spine, start to curl up onto all fours, stack the shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees, belly button draws in towards your spine, facing forward, find a nice neutral spine here, so we're not arching and rounding. Engage your core, and we're just going to extend the right arm. From here, getting a lift out of this left palm, so pressing the left palm into your mat, See if you can reach the left leg up. So we're in a bird dog position. So opposite arm and leg are lifted, bringing that left leg up to just about hip height. See if you can find balance. From here, inhale, lift the gaze a little bit, and as you exhale, bring everything in towards the center, knee and elbow to touch. Inhale as you extend, and then you exhale, bringing it back in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bringing it back in. Inhale as you reach. Exhale, crunch in one more time. Inhale, extend, hold this. Maybe bend that back knee, reach for the back foot. Take a little twist, kicking the foot into the hand. Breathing in. Exhale, releasing back onto all fours. Readjusting your stance, so stacking the shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Extend your left arm, hold this, getting a lift out of this right wrist, extend your right leg. Finding balance, nice neutral spine. Inhale, lift the gaze, exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, reach, exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach, exhale, crunch. Two more times like this on your own breath. 
And we'll crunch it in one more time. Inhale, reaching it back out, holding this. Finding that lift out of the wrist once again. Bend the back knee, reach for the back foot, kick the foot into the hand, turn the chest towards the left. Take another breath in. Exhale, release it, make your way back to all fours. And we'll just take a moment to move through cat and cow. So inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale as we tuck the chin towards the chest and around the spine. Inhale, moving through cow. Exhale, moving through cat. Nice, we'll move through this a few more times. On your next exhale, meet with a nice and neutral spine here. Really press into the palms. See if you can draw the elbow creases towards the front of the room. Fire up your core. Nice long spine. Tuck your right toes. Maybe rock back and forth on that right foot. Starting to open up the back to the, the back of the right leg. Nice. Bring that knee back down. Switch sides, firing up the core, sending your left toes back. Walk it back and forth on that left foot. And then from here, we're just going to bring the right foot to meet the left. Come into a high plank. Shoulders are directly over the wrists. Rocking back and forth on your toes. From here, see if you can roll out to a side plank. So we're going to stack the right shoulder over the right wrist and roll out. Maybe lower this bottom knee if you need to. Maybe reach that top leg up. Engaging your core, so belly button strolling in towards your spine. Making your way back to a high plank position. Nice, from here, stack the left shoulder over the left wrist. Roll out to a side plank facing the right. Maybe lower that bottom knee. Maybe it stays up. Maybe that top leg lifts. Maybe it doesn't. Both sides may feel different. Wherever you are is fine. Back to a high plank. Nice. From here, we're going to draw the chest back towards the thighs. Coming to downward facing dog. Inhale as you come forward to a plank. Exhale, pressing back. Downward facing dog. Really drawing the chest back towards the thighs. Bend the knees. Reach the sitting bones up towards the ceiling. Inhale, come forward to a plank. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Inhale, plank. We're going to hold this plank. From here, we're going to lower the knees. Lower the chest and chin. Elbows come in towards the ribs. Lift the chest. Exhale, press back to child's pose. Take a pause. Knowing that child's pose is always an option if you ever need a moment to recover. From here, tuck your toes, lift your knees, draw the chest back towards the thighs. Now we're facing dog once again, pedal out the feet, chest is drawing back towards the thighs. Nice long spine, really pressing into your palms, squeezing the legs together, getting pressure out of the shoulders. And just allow the pedaling to turn into walking. Taking a nice walk to the top of the mat. Coming up to the hands. Just come into a forward fold. Just allow the chest to hang over the thighs. Opposite elbows. Maybe grabbing a hold of blocks. If your hands don't reach the floor, that's okay. Allow the head to be heavy. Maybe lengthen one knee, bending the other, and switching sides. Whatever feels right for you. And if it isn't, start to roll up to stand. Coming to mountain pose. So pressing into your feet, engaging your legs. Shoulders are over the hips, arms by your sides. Crown the head towards the ceiling. And 
go through a few shoulder rolls. And from here, take a deep breath in, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, think of hinging at the hips. Lift up halfway, find a nice long spine so the shoulders are gonna draw together. Exhale and fold. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, bring the hands through heart center, coming back to Tadasana. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinging at the hips. Lifting up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, fold. From here, center right leg back to a low lunge. Left knee is over the left ankle. Kind of getting a lift of this chest. Pressing your palms into your mat, breathe in. Exhale, bring the left foot to meet the right, come to downward facing dog. Inhale, coming forward to a high plank. We're gonna lower the knees, nice and easy. Lower the chest and chin, elbows hugging in towards the ribs. Little lift of the chest here. Tops of the feet are pressing into the mat. Exhale, coming to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your right leg all the way back. Exhale, bring it all the way through in between the hands. From here, maybe giving it a little boost if it needs one. So make sure that right foot's directly in between the hands, engaging your left leg. Breathe in. Exhale, the left foot's gonna come to meet the right and fold. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Send your left leg back. So back to where we just were, right knees, right foot's in front, right knees over the right ankle. Lifting off of this front thigh, breathe in. Exhale, right foot meets the left down dog. Inhale, coming forward to a high plank. From here, we'll lower the knees, lower the chest and chin. Lift up halfway, or lift up to a baby cobra. Exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog. Nice, sweep that left leg back. Bring it all the way through between the hands. Finding that low lunge, left foot in front. Breathe in, engage your back leg. And as you exhale, bring the right foot to meet the left and just fold. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, bring the hands through heart center. Coming back to mountain pose. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, fold. Lift up halfway, and as you exhale, step directly into a high plank. So from here, you could stick with lowering the knees, chest, and chin. You can meet in downward dog, or you can bend the elbows so they come in towards the ribs. Roll up onto the tops of the feet, coming into upward dog, moving through chaturanga, and exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Chest rolling back towards the thighs. Take another inhale here. Exhale, take a walk to the top of the mat or you can gaze forward. Bend the knees and take a little hop, land in between the hands, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, bringing the hands through heart center. Tadasana, we'll move through that one more time. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Step back to a plank. Take the flow of your choice. Knees, chest, and chin are moving through chaturanga. Pressing into downward facing dog. You can always take a moment to catch your breath in child's pose. Take another inhale here. Exhale, gaze forward. Take a walk or maybe a hop. Keep it controlled. Lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, bring the hands through heart center. Mountain pose, Tadasana. From here, we're gonna to come to chair, Utkatasana. Sink the hips back. So make sure that the toes are in front of the knees. Lift the chest, relax the shoulders out of the ears. Sink a little lower. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, and fold. Lift up halfway, step back through plank, move through the flow of your, of your choice. If you get tired, you can always lower the knees, chest and chin, or just meet in downward facing dog. 
Inhale, sweep that right leg back. Exhale, bring it all the way through between the hands. Give it a little boost if it needs one. Lower that back heel. So the left heel's on a 45 degree angle. So toes are facing the corner of the room. Reach the arms up. Warrior one, bending into your front knee. Relaxing the shoulders. Take a breath in. Open out to warrior two. So hip points are facing off towards the sidewall, more or less. Keep bending into that front knee. Flip the front palm. Send the back palm down the back leg. Get a nice side stretch here. Take a moment to catch your breath. Exhale it out. From here, cartwheel the hands, bring that front foot. Send that right leg back to a high plank. Move through the flow of your choice. Meeting back in downward facing dog. Left leg sweeps high. Bring it all the way through between the hands, ground the back heel. Reach the arms up, warrior one. Exhale it out to open to warrior two. Bending into that front knee, relax this back shoulder. Make sure this back arm's not sagging. So energy, fingertip to fingertip. And reverse your warrior. Take another breath in. And from here, cartwheel the hands, bring that front foot, left leg back, move through the flow of your choice, or just meet in downward facing dog. Pressing the chest back here with the thighs. Nice. And pedal out the feet. Take another inhale. Exhale it out. From here, take a walk to the top of your mat, or take a breath in, and as you exhale, bend the knees, see if you can hop and land right in between the hands. Lift up halfway, exhale and fold. You're gonna bend the knees, sink the hips back to chair pose. Nice, chest is lifting here. From here, pouring weight into that right leg, we're just gonna lift the left leg up. Nice. Lower back to chair, weight in that left leg. See if you can reach the right leg up. Lowering down, left leg lifts. Lowering down, right leg lifts. And then back to chair. Nice, bring the hands to heart center. See if you can take a twist to the right. So hooking this right, I'm um, sorry, this left elbow to the right knee, press the right palm into the left. Pouring weight into that left leg. I'm going to work on a little bit of balancing here. We'll see how this goes. From here, start to lift that left foot. See if you can bring the left heel towards the left butt cheek. Send it back to a twisted lunge. Nice. Keep turning the chest open. And from here, we're going to reach the arms, coming to a high lunge. Sinking into the hips. We're going to interlace the fingers, press the palms up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, start to lower all the way down, lowering that back knee and tuck the back toes. From here, bring your palms to your front knee. Nice. If this is too much on this bottom knee, you can actually double up your mat and get a little cushion. Or maybe take a towel and place it under that, that knee that's on the mat. Nice, working the hips here. Maybe reaching the arms. Take another breath in. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Bring the arms to the inside of this right leg. And just toe heel that right foot out a little bit. And maybe, just maybe lowering onto the forearms, coming into a nice hip stretch. Coming into lizard. If it feels okay, we right, wrap that right arm around the front of the right knee. Maybe bend that back knee reach for the back foot, 
Maybe come up onto the palm of that left hand if you need to. Keep turning the chest open, getting a twist. Breathing in and breathing out. When you're ready, releasing that left foot. Coming back onto the forearms here. We're gonna tuck the left toe, see if you can interlace the fingers here. Really engage your core. See if you can send that right leg back to a forearm plank. So the shoulders are directly over the elbows. And you want a nice long spine. So we're not reaching the bum up. And from here, we're just going to press the chest back to dolphin. Inhale, bring it forward to a forearm plank. Exhale, pressing back. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, pressing it back. Two more times like this on your own breath. Another inhale here. Exhale, press back. And if you can, see if you can press the palms into your mat, coming up to downward facing dog. Nice. You can stay right here, or you can move through the flow of your choice. So inhale, coming to a plank, lowering your plank onto the mat. Coming into the back bend of your choice, pressing back, downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet nice and easy. And from here, either walk the feet up to the hands or gaze forward, taking a hop and just separating the feet so they're a little bit wider than hip bone and then coming into a nice forward fold. And see how this forward fold feels versus the beginning of class. Maybe the backs of the legs are a little bit longer, maybe they're not. Maybe you can fold a little more into this. Wherever you are, start to roll up to stand nice and easy. We'll come back to chair pose, so shake it out for a moment. So from here, we're gonna bend the knees, sink the hips back, coming to chair pose, pouring weight into your left foot. We're gonna reach the right leg up, lowering back down, lifting the left leg up, finding balance here. Back to chair, reaching the right leg up, lowering back down once more like this, left leg lifts, Utkatasana, hands to heart center. Take that twist. Nice, so right elbow hooks to the left knee. Start to pour weight into your left foot. Maybe think of gazing at one still point, pulling the belly button up and in towards the spine. Bend that right knee, reaching that right heel towards the butt cheek, sending it all the way back to a twisted lunge, wiggling those back toes back, energize that back leg. Find your twist, find your composure, and just breathe. And from here, reach the arms, coming into that high lunge. Bending into the front knee, energizing the back leg. Maybe you're shaking, I know I am. Interlace the fingers, press the palms away. Maybe try taking that opposite interlace if you can remember it. Take a breath in. And on a full exhale, lower all the way down, untuck the back toes, and then nice and easy, bringing the palms to the front knee. Chest is lifting. Maybe doubling up the mat if you need a little padding under the knee. And here it's safe for this front knee to come over the ankle because this um, opposite knee is on the ground. Getting a little back bend. Breathing in. <clears throat> Exhale, bring your hands to the inside of this left leg. Toe heel that, that left foot out. See if you can come onto the forearms and just get a nice stretch of this left hip. You can stay here or maybe 
wrap that left arm around the left leg, left knee, I should say. Maybe bend that back knee, reach for that back foot. Finding that twist. Taking another breath. Extending it out. And from here, lowering that right foot, coming back onto the forearms here. Tuck your right toes, engage your core. See if you can bring that left foot back to a forearm plank and come forward to the shoulders or over the elbows. Elbows are about shoulder width apart. Palms can come to the mat or you can interlace the fingers. Your choice. Press the chest back towards the thighs. Dolphins. Dolphin pose. These are dolphin push-ups. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, pressing back. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, press back. Inhale, bring it forward to a forearm plank. Exhale, press it all the way back. Two more times, your own breath. From here, maybe pressing into the palms, making your way to downward dog. Stay here or move through the flow of your choice. One last time. Nice. Wherever you are, inhale here, come forward to a plank. You can lower the knees or you can lower your plank all the way onto your mat, nice and slow. And just rock from side to side here. So big toes come together, heels far fall apart. Just wag the tail a little bit. We'll come into a few back bends. Bring the chin to the top of the mat. Start to lift the chest. Allow the palms to face the floor. Draw the shoulder blades together, lifting the arms, zipping the thighs together, lifting the legs. Maybe the breath rocks you. Exhale, release it. Catching your breath. Chin comes back to the top of the mat. Lift the chest. Draw the shoulder blades together, arms lift. Maybe interlacing the fingers behind the back, lifting the chest a little more, thighs up together, lifting the legs. Exhale, releasing it. From here, chin to the top of the mat. Lift the chest, lift the arms, lift the thighs. Maybe bend the knees, reach for the backs of the feet, or the tops of the feet, kick the feet into the hands. Just allow the breath to rock you. And release it. Just bring the legs so it's about mat width apart. And press back to a child's pose. Start to walk the hands up towards the knees. And from here, just have a seat. And stretch out the legs. Shake them out. Sitting up nice and tall, reach the arms up. If this is too much on your lower back, you can bring a block underneath the seat. Gives you a little bit more of a range of motion. Reach the arms up, hinging at the hips, folding forward. You're reaching for the knees, the shins, the ankles, or the toes, or beyond. Maybe keeping the knees nice and soft. And 
really stretch out the backs of the legs. As you settle in, maybe you can hold a little further, or maybe need to back out a little bit. Every day is different. As we start to rise up, shaking out the legs, maybe removing the block. And from here, scooch up on your mat so you have a little bit of room to recline. Keep the knees bent. Bring the hands so they are directly underneath the knees. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. We're just going to lift the legs. Maybe you can release the arms. Maybe the hands come underneath the shoulders. Wherever you are engaging your core, we're just gonna lower and lift. We're gonna lower and then lift back up. Three more like this. Two more. On this last one, we're just gonna hold this, keeping the core engaged, maybe shaking. And lower down. Bring the soles of the feet together. If the knees are higher than the hips, maybe bring some blocks underneath the knees. And again, just hinging at your hips and folding. Get a nice stretch of the thighs or the groins and the hips. Two more rounds of breath here. Every year we start to rise up, bring the knees together, reach the arms out, engage in your core, start to lower on to your mat. Nice. Relaxing the arms by your sides, bend the knees, bring the feet in. And we're just going to press the hips up. Coming into bridge. Maybe interlacing the fingers under the breath. Placing the hips up a little bit higher. And then a full exhale, lowering all the way down. We'll do that one more time. Pressing the hips up towards the ceiling, interlacing the fingers behind the back. Press those hips up a little bit more, squeezing the thighs together. Make sure the knees aren't rolling out. Take another breath. Exhale, lower it down. Hug the knees in towards your chest. And just roll the knees counterclockwise in towards the chest. And when you're ready, rolling them counterclockwise. And we have a massage of the spine here. If it feels okay for you, you can hug the knees in, reach for the ankles or the insides of the feet. Just swap from side to side. And then from here, just lower the feet. Bring them so they're mat width apart and just start to draw the knees towards the right and then draw them to the left. Bringing them to the right, to the left. And then one breath. And next 
If I may fall to the right, take a look over the left shoulder. Two rounds of breath here. Bring them back to center. Lower them to the left, look over the right shoulder. Another round of breath. And bring them back to center. Palms are facing up towards the ceiling. Extend one leg, then the other. And just take a moment. Close the eyes. Meditation awesome. Let's see Start to deepen the breath. Bringing the toe movement back in, wiggling the fingers and the toes, circling the ankles and the wrists. Reach the arms up, take a final stretch. Bend one knee, then the other, and just roll onto the right side. Press your way up to a seat. And then bringing the hands to third eye center, just folding forward. Namaste. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you have a great Memorial Day weekend, and I hope you're staying safe and sane through all of this um, craziness right now. And if you ever need anything, feel free to email me at mixmornings at wjbr.com, and I would love to connect. And I will see you next time for Yoga with Jesse. Bye.